हेलो चिल्ड्रेन साई राम वेलकम बैक टू आर सोशल स्टडीज क्लास चिल्ड्रेन वी हैड ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विद चैप्टर नंबर नाइनटीन द स्ट्रगल फॉर इंडिपेंडेंस सो लेट्स हैव अ क्विक रिकॉल ऑन द टॉपिक्स दैट वी हैड कवर्ड इन आर लास्ट टू सेशंस एंड हियर वी हैव इज द इवेल प्रैक्टिस इन एंशंट इंडिया द सोशल रिफॉर्मर्स the rise of indian nationalism and important leaders okay so the children the social reformers who were the educated people of the country and they wanted to uh, you know change the social evils like female infanticide child marriage sati system and caste system okay so some of the social reformers were raja ram mohan roy ishwar chandra vidyasagar dayanand saraswati and sir said ahmed khan then children we also saw about the rise of indian nationalism and we saw that indian national congress was formed in the year 1885 where a uh, few englishmen and some of the nationalist okay came together and formed okay and the first session was held in bombay then we also studied about some of the moderates okay the people who demanded reforms in the society so that indians could lead a more free and a better life under the british rule and those moderates were dada bai nauru ji gopal krishna gokhale and bhumesh chandra banerji apart from this there were also few extremist they were also called as radicals okay who preferred a stronger and more active opposition to the british okay and they wanted swaraj for the indians and these extremist were bal gangadhar tilak bipin chandrapal and lala lajpat rai bal gangadhar tilak said that swaraj is my birth right and i shall have it he also released a newspaper called kesari now children let us see the topics that we are going to cover in our today's session that is the partition of bengal and the swadeshi movement activities of the revolutionaries and world war 1 and after now children the people of india were united okay and on the other hand the british uh, were worried about the growing feeling of nationalism among the indians they realized that if the people of india actually got united then they could uh, you know like easily throw the british out and make them just get out of the country so children there was only one way that the british could prevent indians from uniting uh, and it was the divide and rule policy okay which policy did the british apply here that is the divide and rule policy they divided indians on the basis of religion okay they divided indians on the basis of religion now children uh, how did the british do this at that time the feeling of nationalism was the strongest in bengal so nearly all the people of bengal started protesting okay all the people of bengal started protesting so nationalism really picked up in bengal and this scared british a little so what did they do 
immediately in the year 1905 that is 1905 they decided to divide Bengal and this was the decision that had a havoc in Bengal. See children here is the image of the partition of Bengal. Okay. If you see this picture you will understand how did they parted. Okay. That they parted from the center that is from here. See. You can see the dotted lines. Yes, they parted from here. Okay. And they made sure that there would be one part of Bengal for Hindus and another part for Muslims. Okay. So, the Indians protested strongly against the division of Bengal. Okay. All the Indians, they protested. That means they were opposed to the British for this division. And the people were very angry. Okay. And the anger in the people gave rise to Swadeshi movement. Okay. The anger in the people gave rise to Swadeshi movement. Now children, what do you mean by Swadeshi Swadeshi means my own country. Okay. It means my own country. And the people here pledged to use Indian goods. They said that we are not going to use any foreign goods. We will be using only goods which are made in India. So they started uh, placing the postures everywhere which were related to boycott British goods. So children what do you mean by boycott? Boycott here means to ban or to remove the foreign goods. Here in the image we can see the bonfire. So different British goods like Clothes such as suits, coats, hats, etc. were piled up to put fire. So this started in Bengal and later spread to other parts of the country. Women and students also participated in this movement. And this was one way of protesting against the British. Okay, uh, even British, that is, even British tried ruthlessly to put down this movement. People were mercilessly beaten and fined. Okay, people were mercilessly beaten and fined. Ultimately, opposition of partition was successful. And Bengal got reunited. And there was nothing that the British could do. So people stood united and made sure that Bengal does not separate. Okay. So this was how that they finally stopped the British from parting Bengal into two pieces. Now if you see... This, on the other hand, while Swadeshu movement happened, there were also some other extremist group. So, we will see what were the activities of these people who were called as revolutionaries. After the partition of Bengal, several young Indians started becoming more and more violent. Violent means to fight. Okay. So, they wanted to fight against the British. And these people were called as revolutionaries. Okay. And revolutionaries were actually very young. Okay. Revolutionaries were 
young Indians who formed groups to fight against the British and were even ready to sacrifice their lives okay, for the country. They were so patriotic that they did not care even for their own lives. They would go to any extent to protest against the British. And these people were called as revolutionaries. So, some of the important revolutionaries are here on the screen. Arbindo Ghosh, Khudiram Bose, Chandrasekhar Azad, Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev and Uddham Singh. Okay. So, these were some of the prominent revolutionaries who went on to any extent to save their motherland. But unfortunately, this method was not very successful because the revolutionaries used very violent means of protest and they were not joined by the general masses. Now children, what do you mean by general masses? General masses are the common people. So the common people uh, did not join revolutionaries because they felt that these revolutionaries were very violent. So the common people found this was a wrong approach and they did not join the revolutionaries. Therefore, this method of protest did not work. Things changed later on. Now, let us see what happened in World War I. World War I broke out in the year 1914. Okay, so when you see the First World War, the first world war broke out in the year 1914 now at this time you know very well that the british ruled india and british was one country which was participating in the first world war so what they did is lakhs of indian soldiers fought for the british army that is Lakhs of Indian soldiers were taken from the Indian army and they were forced to fight with the British army for the British. And because of this, thousands of Indian soldiers were killed. Okay, thousands of Indian soldiers were killed. On the other hand, the Indians thought that the British would become more sympathetic towards them because many people fought for them and even many people died but this didn't work okay in fact british imposed fresh taxes to recover the losses they suffered in the war and this angered the people a lot and they were actually not understanding what was happening then finally in the year 1915 okay in the year 1915 Mahatma Gandhi returned India from South Africa okay while World War one was still going on he took the leadership of bringing independence to our country and under his guidance today we are a free nation isn't it children so this is about the struggle of indians for the independence and the journey that the people of india had taken to reach the level of independence that we have today so that's it with our today's session so here we come to an end of our chapter. Children, I hope that you have understood this chapter. Let's do a quick recall. Children, the points are on the screen. Let us read together. Okay. 
So, here we have the first point. Social reformers fought against the evils that divided the Indian society and made it backward. Let's read second point. The Indian National Congress was formed in the year 1885 by the educated people of India who were dissatisfied with the British rule. The next point here we have is the Indian National Congress initially demanded reforms for Indians under the British rule. Next point. Many congressmen did not like the soft approach of the leaders and wanted Swaraj, that is self-rule. Next point here we have. To weaken the feeling of nationalism among the Indians, the British tried to divide them on the basis of religion. Next point. The protest against the British division of Bengal led to the Swadeshi movement. Next point. The revolutionaries believed in fighting the British with arms. And the last point, the British became harsher towards the Indians after World War I. So children, here we end with our chapter. Do read the lesson thoroughly. Okay. And solve the objectives. Till then, goodbye and take care.